hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel so today's just is almost so i'll be talking about her family her career and some controversies that showed her in the nollywood industry Zufilani was born on the july 5th 1968 but is a wife a mother an actor a producer and an entrepreneur still in the month of june she recently celebrated her birthday july 5th baby she shared a picture where she was adorned in the green outfit adding a capture saying yes we july born are special tomorrow is all about me god's mercy kept me and on a special day she said thank you lord for the gift of life thank you for grace and mercy thank you lord for good health Thank you, Lord, for salvation. I am plus one today, 5 7 2022. Happy birthday to me. And thanking everyone who made our day a special one, she reached out by saying, This is me saying a very big thank you to everyone that celebrated me on my birthday yesterday. Thank you all for your calls, gifts, prayers, well wishes, posts, reposts, stories. Indeed, all made my day. Thank you to all my mommies, daddies, aunties, uncles, brothers, sisters family friends colleagues my fans and great followers god will continue to give you reasons to celebrate in life amen my handsome and caring husband at kayade Odoye, my very first gifter thank you so much for my gift i love you always and she went ahead to celebrate several other people appreciating them for making the day a memorable one and speaking of her husband Kaya Oye. A very controversy throughout their marriage, of which is that Kaya de Odoye was once married with two kids and that Mosufilani snatched Kaya de from the first wife. But Mosufilani explained her own side of the story, explained that when she married her husband and when she was dating her husband, there was no woman in his house. That his ex wife, they've both divorced and they've gone their separate ways. And for many years, she had lived abroad with their two kids. And by the time she was in a relationship with Mr. Kayode Simeon Odoye, there was absolutely no woman in his life, no woman in his home. So therefore, the rumor that she snatched him from someone else is not true. For a good number of years, Musu Filani rocked the entertainment industry as one of the faces and in fact, she was nominated for several awards, produced several movies, featured in several other movies as well. But all of a sudden, she just went off screen for a very long time. Some people concluded that, oh, it was because she got married and she had to start doing her wifely duties and she had to leave one to attend to the other. Well, that may be part of it as the several revelations came online about her relationship between Odula Diadikola and Muiwa Authentic. Mosu Filani studied at Belkuta College of Education, Tai Shalari to be precise, and she's believed to be an indigen of Ibadan because she grew up and had most of her primary and secondary school education, but she's from Ikole Ekiti State. After her secondary school education in Asian city of Ibadan, most soon she got an admission. It was during that time she joined the Wahid Jadwade Theatre Group from where she learned the ropes in the make-believe trade and turned out an excellent product. According to NigeriaFilms.com, Wahid Jadwade was a strong force in the Abekuta movie industry as an actor, movie producer and also director of Note knew that he had a huge talent in his hands and encouraged her to get to the peak of her career. It was well with Ijadwade's group that Mosun was allowed to strike up an affair with the then up and coming actor Odunla Diadikola, who is now a star actor and one of the fastest growing in the sector, who is also based in Abekuta. Those in the know say that the relationship was so strong that no one believed they could ever separate. According to those who were close to her, that relationship also helped to catapult a career. So who was always accompanying Odilade to every movie location made her gain more popularity and prominence among producers and other actors. Coupled with her boss strong force in the industry, she began to get roles in movies produced by a big based producer. We also learned that as soon as she began to get popular as a result of the increasing job she was getting, 
but so quickly changed base to pitch a tent with star actor Muyiwa Ademola after meeting him on a movie set where they acted together. A relationship was said to have kick-started between the two and Muyiwa Authentic, as he is fondly called, became a center of existence. It was gathered that when the news of our relationship with Muyiwa hit town, it was not only Odun that was disappointed, but also other producers who are Odun's friends, and many of them were said to have vowed not to give her rose again. And within a short while, she gathered that her face faded out and became scarce in movies done by the Abekuta producers. But what she lost in Abekuta, she was said to have gained even more in the Ibado Axis, which is spearheaded by Muyiwa Ademola, as he was said to have secured roles for her in movies shot by his numerous producers' friends and those he coordinated. So busy was Mosu in Ibado that she had to relocate from Abekuta to Ibadan to be able to concentrate on her work even more. However, it was gathered that from close associates that it wasn't just Mosu that suffered a setback due to a relationship with Muyiwa Demola as the affair ruined the brotherly relationship between Odunadi and Muyiwa and also the relationship between Muyiwa and other Abekuta producers who vowed to stick by Odun and support him because he is their own. It was also learned that when the news hit town that Mosu had relocated to Ibadan so as to be close to Muyiwa Demola, she was quick to react by telling anyone who cares to listen that she actually went to Abekuta for her studies and along the line found herself in acting and since her family were based in Ibadan, where she initially had her early education and grew up, she had to go back to the place she calls home. Meanwhile, while her relationship with Authentic was hot, Mosu also played the lead role in Muyiwa's movies, several of it, and those he coordinated. And that was how much Muyiwa influenced her career, and that he started making enemies with his friends. It was also gathered that once he had a run in with his long standing friend Adiba Etijani, the producer of Akbesin, who reportedly had a fight with Muyiwa over his imposition of Mosu over other babes in their groups. Meanwhile, Muyiwa is a married man as at that time, and one way or the other, his relationship with Mosu was said to have gotten to the wife. And according to people who were around him, she once went to one Mosu to stay clear of her husband. And when it seems Mosu was unrelenting, Muyiwa's wife was said to have sent emissaries to her and when she realized that these threats are becoming reality she relocated back to Abekuta where she had initially abandoned and settled down to her business meanwhile according to those in the know Musun really appreciated the relationship that she had with Muiwa Dekmola of all the relationships she has once had well this is according to nigerianfilms.com as the source revealing this this is not confirmed by any of the actors Odunade Muyiwa or Musun herself. Well Muyiwa Demola and Odunade are on good terms they are following each other on social media and appreciate each other's work and craft and also greet and celebrate each other on their special days and all of this are now in the past as Mosu herself is happily married with four kids with her politician husband and she's also back on screen after many years of leaving and guys they have it do not forget to like subscribe and drop your comments in the comment section below thank you bye